All right, let's get it going. Uh, every, you know, every game is a title fight, right? So um, I just wanted to recuperate, you know, some stuff that I heard around the league that was real good and guys that, you know, recently played the position that was good cardio and it works everything. So um, I try to, you know, get that into my workout. And it, it worked really well for me. So, you know, I, I, I'm expecting to continue that through the season. Um, in my... Just like my overall upper body strength, core, um, balance, being able to strike and um, get off. And, you know, just overall, you know, fighting through fatigue, you know, that's something you get through boxing. You have to be able to keep going round for round and round for round. So I think that's why I am where I am, and that's why he said what he said. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Uh, it was great, all of it. Um, having fans back, you know, you could definitely feel our rise of play pick up a little bit um, because first day in pass, a lot of people answers should show what they've been working. And, you know, everybody's watching when you put on pass because that's the way the game is played, correct? So I think everybody was anxious but also ready to go out there and show that, you know, what they've been doing and show that they can play ball. And I, I love the way it was today. I was definitely happy to see fans back out there. It was so boring without them. But um, if it felt great to have them out there, you know, and we appreciate them coming. Where, where are you going to box? Um, here, I did it here in L.A. Um, I went to go to Florida for a little bit, but mostly in L.A. And here. Um, I know a lot of people in L.A. He really don't want me to tell his name, but um, one of the guys I recently played with and um, went out there and boxed, and then it continued over here with some people that I work with. They, they know what they have now, you know, it's, it's no lack of confidence and that's part of the game. You know, you got to believe that you can do it and go out there and execute it. But we have some guys here that know that they can play and they plan at their ability. You know, you can't really tell. You got young guys up here stepping up and knowing what to do and doing it fast. That's part of it. You know, in college, you can slack off and somebody make a play right now. Everybody want to be on the same page. You want to get back to that Bears defense and the offense is out there picking it up. So we having great practice reps against them and we're seeing a whole lot of stuff that we want to see. David, when you reflected on last season, did you feel like the lack of a true off-season program at training camp kind of affected you from the start? And then, where do you feel like you are now in terms of your preparation? Um, last year was last year, bro. Um, I'm not really worried about that, but I know what to do this year and um, working my tail off. And I, I know what I expect of myself, and I know what my team needs of me, and I'm gonna give them all of that. I ain't even hear what you said. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> um, he's a good dude. Um, played with him when I first came here. Christian was here. Uh, he works hard. He knows all position, and he he's a team player. So he bond with us, and we all know what Christian gonna give us. Big guy, physical too, and uh, well respected around here. And uh, I, I like having him in the room with us. It's been a blessing, man. Um, um, when I came in the league, I wanted to learn from other people, and I tried to take everything that I learned from them and try to pass it on, and, and that's what they told me to do. Um, just to see him, you know, grow into that that, that person, I'm not going to say that I have anything to do with it. Roe is always going to be Roe. But if I could help him along the way, I'm trying to make him the best player I could be within myself. And just to see him do that, um, uh, it, it makes me feel great as a person, as his brother. Um, and I, I'm sure he got a lot more in his chamber, just, just like us. So uh, looking forward to playing with him, man. I'm sure he's going to be putting on the show. Um, I, I define it as, you know, he was the, probably one of the best linebackers to ever play. Um, 
last year. And uh, I know he don't get a lot of credit. He don't really buy into all of that. But I'm going to say it for him. So um, I know this year he's looking forward to taking all of that. And I'm looking forward to rocking with him and be the best linebackers out there. But I know his last year, people call it a breakout season. But it's not a breakout when you expect that from somebody. You know what I'm saying? So I know that he's going to pick it up a lot more. And it, you know it's all about getting the respect you deserve now. Um, versatility, um, knowing, knowing the game, um, he's, he, he's a wizard, like with, I keep saying wizard, but like, he's smart with the calls. He know he loves football. Like not even sure he went home the off season just, you know, cause he loves football this much. He waited so long for this opportunity. So I'm excited for him because I got to see him get into that role. And I just know his mentality cause he would coach everybody when he was on the sideline. He would coach every position, know what to do. And I'm excited for him to be put in this position. I just see so much enthusiasm from him, passion, and all, all the stuff you need. So it carries off into your team and your defense. Yeah, Mark, Danny, does that have, how much does that have the experience you talked about? And what can he add to the defense? This is a fresh idea guy uh, that may be the next. A um, little flavor, a um, little, little swag. Sean, Sean got a little swag to himself. And he, he loves defense, and he loves shutting people down. Um, and Sean, um, he studies football to a whole another level to which it makes me step up my studying time and study game and, and makes me look at film a lot more than what I used to and look at things that certain people might not look if they just look at film. So I know he's going to be studying still right now, but he's going to put us in the best position possible and it's up to us to make the plays when they come our way. You posted on Twitter recently you know, about your attack. What does that mean for a guy who was a six-round pick and had to you know, work to get into that position initially as a rookie and then um, it's all glory to God, first of all. Um, but it just goes to show, um, no matter how you get in, it's all about how you finish. And, you know, don't ever let nobody stop you. I was 188. I carry that with me right now. Um, and it's still pushing me. Um, I'm not finished yet, and it feels great to where I'm at right now. It feels great to have this defense and the team, you know, rocking right now. And, you know, the top head of the Bears, the organization, they're doing a great job of getting guys in here and still um, holding us accountable and having us go out here and work hard. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this year.